Hey there. All right, this is Alan from MindVisionMedia.net, and this is part two of the responsive WordPress child theme tutorial updated version. All right, so where we left off in one, we had switched back to our responsive parent theme inside of our dashboard. Let's go back to themes. And we had did some modifications and some changes to the child theme after setting that up and I explained um, what features carry over and what features uh, stay with the child theme. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the theme editor. All right, in appearance and editor. Now we're using the responsive parent theme right now. Okay, from theme ID, we're not on our uh, responsive child theme. I want to go to appearance and editor. I just want to show you something. Now on the parent theme, when you're in the theme editor, you see all these files on the right. Okay, all these files are associated with the responsive theme. Alright, and you're able to come inside here and at your own risk, <laughs> edit these files. Um, make changes which will affect your site okay and this is where I recommend making copies of these files um, before and after your changes or working on a child theme alright so let's go back to themes and let's activate our child theme one more time okay so our current theme is now the child theme let's go back refresh okay so we're back on our child theme and if we go back to our editor and you look over here you notice all we have is a sidebar home PHP and a style sheet that's it that's absolutely it. And if we go to that sidebar home PHP file, as you can see, it's just the widget one, the one I edited and modified and put inside of my child theme folder. Okay, so the only two files that are available inside the editor are the sidebar home PHP file and the style CSS file. Okay. And that's what's going to be reflected inside your theme editor, inside your dashboard. Now, I mentioned earlier that you can, of course, copy files over to your child theme and edit those files. And I demonstrated that with the sidebar dash home PHP. You can also do that with other files inside the parent theme. Now, what is not recommended is that you copy the functions PHP file over to the child theme. You do not need to do that, but you can create a new functions PHP file, okay, which will interact with the parent's function PHP file, okay. So do not copy the entire functions PHP file over to your child theme. What you want to do is create a new functions PHP file and add code to that file and it will work in conjunction with and in some cases override the parent themes function PHP file alright but any other files uh, you can pretty much copy over and make modifications to okay like we demonstrated with the sidebar home PHP file um, the same with the style CSS um, now the style CSS that I have inside the responsive child theme right now doesn't have any uh, styling <coughs> okay let's try that again there we go okay so it doesn't have any styling okay it's just importing the styles from the parent style CSS okay 
So if I wanted to make modifications to that, I would add parameters and code CSS to that file in order to modify the child theme. And a workaround, especially for beginners, is to go over to your parent theme open up your style.css file from your parent theme and copy just the styles uh, you don't need any of the header stuff because you already have a CSS header okay none of this stuff at the top just want to get down to the nitty gritty so right here where it's re says reset CSS or CSS rules sort alf sorted alphabetically. Um, either one of these locations, you can go ahead and and start to copy. This is a really big, long file, but you could literally copy over all the styles to your child theme, and then take out or modify the ones that you want. Um, since you're not familiar with PHP code or CSS at the moment. Um, you can do that for any of the files, PHP template files that you want to copy over to your child theme. You can just go into the parent theme, copy the entire file. Okay, just the code you need. And uh, create new PHP files. Okay. Or CSS files. So I'll go ahead and edit that. And underneath here, I'll go ahead and paste in the parent themes, CSS, all the styles and um, controls, colors, font styles, um, widths and heights, background colors you know, all the stuff that's located in the CSS, and I'll go ahead and save that. Now when I go over to my theme editor and actually click on my style sheet, okay, it has my child theme header, okay, stuff we set up earlier, but now it has all the options that the parent theme CSS file has. Okay, so now I can get in here and start changing stuff, and I don't have to worry about messing up my parent theme's CSS file. Okay, so that's the beauty of it. Um, like I said, this contains everything to do with the parent theme CSS, so now you can edit whichever aspect of the uh, child theme CSS you want. Alright, so just wanted to do a quick follow up and we'll do a quick recap as well. Um, we're currently on the child theme as designated by this green background. We created a child theme directory inside the root theme folder and we named it after the parent theme. Now another thing I want to explain, which is very important. Right here it says template. Okay, I mentioned that was important earlier. And import URL and the parent theme name right here as well. These should match the parent theme directory. Okay, not the parent theme's title. Okay. It could be ca capitalized with spaces. That's not the nomenclature that's necessary for these two lines right here. Okay. Notice it's in lowercase. Okay. Just like the parent directory. All right. Not uppercase as in the title in the theme manager okay so I just wanted to point that out that's very important um, and let's see what else 
So we created our style sheet from scratch in a text editor, uploaded it to our responsive child theme folder. We copied over the default screenshot PNG file from the parent uh, responsive theme folder. And then I showed you that you can make any Im image show up uh, just by renaming it to screenshot PNG file. So you can have a picture of yourself or your website or whatever you want in there. And I demonstrated how you can bring over additional files to the child theme folder and edit those and have access to those inside your theme editor um, as well as your server. And you can safely go ahead and make changes to any files that are inside the ch child theme folder. And then I also demonstrated how you can copy portions of the parent theme uh, files and add them to your existing child theme files. So as I demonstrated with this particular file, the sidebar home PHP file, I got rid of widgets 2 and 3 and kept widget 1, changed the dimensions of widget 1. And if I wanted to, here it is down here, I just made one horizontal widget. If I wanted to reverse that, for, for instance, I could go back to my backup copy or to the parent theme sidebar home PHP file, copy widget 2 and 3 from that file, come back to this file and paste in widget 2 and 3 again, re-edit those dimensions and fix everything back to the way it was, okay, without it affecting the parent theme. All right, so hopefully this was uh, simplified. Um, child themes is a very, very confusing uh, topic and subject and a lot of people are intimidated and afraid to try them out and then approach it and I hope this quick series um, simplified and updated has cleared up the process for you. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the parent theme and uh, and now we're back into the parent theme responsive theme ID version not the child theme let's go back to the website and refresh and there you go back to the way things were alrighty so if you have any questions feel free to contact me at mindvisionmedia.net um, be glad to help and don't be intimidated. Just uh, take your time. Pause the video if you have to. And don't forget you can download a text file with some condensed instructions and references and of course the child theme CSS code for your header to get you started on creating a child theme. Alrighty, because there's a lot of code floating around on the internet and some of it is not actually good. Um, I found that out the hard way as well. So. You want to definitely make sure the code that you copy and paste from the internet is accurate. And I have checked and double checked and uh, made sure that the code that I'm providing is. Alright, so talk to you later. Bye.